All right, rock and roll. We are all the way up to 8-3. It's called dividing polynomials. But uh, elementary students, if you uh, if your teachers tended to allow you to use calculators, uh, you probably are really rusty on old school long division. And that really is what we're doing today. So I'm going to warm you up with a basic problem. Uh, some of you are like, are you serious? Answer, yes. Uh, we're going to start right here. So what do you do? Well, you look at this and you look at this and you say, how many times is that going to that? You say three. Now, don't get lazy because what I'm about to do, you got to follow the system when it gets weird like this because your real problems are these, not these. Anyways, here we go. Once we determine that three times three is nine, we go three times three, put that right here, always subtract. Always subtract. So you guys are already taking things for granted. I know you are. And so now we get 9 minus 9 is 0. So that's 0. It's gone. What do you got to do? You got to bring the next element down. And here we go. How many times is 3 going to 5? Once. And so 3 times 1 is 3. We bring that down. We subtract. Don't forget. Subtract. 5 minus 3 is 2. Drop the six down. By the way, did you notice that I almost puked? I just had a big bowl of oatmeal. I'm sorry if that's too much information. But the big lean, oh, almost happened. Caught on tape. Would have been amazing. Viral. Anyways, here we go. Back to math. Yeah? By the way, it was steel cut. The bananas, brown sugar, raisins, almonds, and coconut. Can't beat it. Here we go. How many times is 3 going to 26? 8. <clears throat> so we put that up here. 8 times 3 is 24. Subtract. What's 26 minus 24 is 2. What do we got to do to this? Bring that down. How many times is 3 going to 23? 7. 7 times 3 is 21. Subtract. 23 minus 21 is 2. Bring the 1 down. Oh, I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm going to change that to a 2. Bring the 2 down, and we got 22. So 3 goes into 22 seven times. 7 times 3 is 21. Now, for those of you that are remembering your elementary school like it was yesterday, what you would do is you would keep going maybe, and then you'd put a dot here and bring the zero down. We're not doing that. We're going to say, if you guys remember this, this is our remainder. Now, Back in the day, you'd go R1, meaning you have one as your remainder. Just starting to uh, remind you of the old days. But what Algebra 2 and Pre-Calc is going to want when you get into this stuff is they want your answer in fractional form. So what does that mean? It means you take your remainder and you just put it over your divisor. So that would be your answer for this situation. Now let's take what we learned here and apply it to here. Now there's a subtle little change. Notice there was only one thing out here. Now we have two things. Here's the trick. Start with this and this. Ask yourself, what times this is this? Does that mean you ignore that? Absolutely it does. So I'm going to concentrate on this and say what? Start to multiply that by to get that. The answer is x. Now, don't forget, once you put a number up here, what would you do to these two? You multiply them. That's where the 9 came from. Now, here's the key. I'm going to insist that you guys put parentheses around that divisor. That's going to help you uh, not do a silly thing and, and uh, forget to do this. We just got to multiply both things by x. So that would be x squared plus 2x. Now, I know I overemphasized it uh, over here, but I did that for a reason. You subtract, you subtract, you subtract, you subtract, you subtract. You get the hint? I almost puked. I was so excited about it. So we have to subtract. Now, if that's all I do, you guys are going to make big mistakes in the long run because you're subtracting all of it. So I highly recommend you guys put parentheses around the divisor. and You also put parentheses around whatever you're subtracting so that you remember to subtract all of it. And now I'm going to go x squared minus x squared, gone. Negative 2x minus 2x would actually be negative 4x. Now what do we do? We bring this down, plus 1. 
And then we go back to the beginning. We concentrate on this, we concentrate on this, and that's it. What times this gives me this exact same thing? Negative four. Now I take that negative four and I distribute it through both things. So I get negative four X minus eight. Don't forget to slap parentheses around it and don't forget to subtract it. So what's negative four X plus four X? Well, those two things should always cancel. One minus a negative eight is actually one plus eight, which would be nine. Because I don't have anything else to bring down, this is my remainder. Here's how you're going to do it. You're going to go plus. By the way, even if this was a negative 9, you would still put plus. Just get into the habit of doing it because that's what Schoology answers do. So just get used to that. The remainder over the divisor. This is your answer. Um, this is called fractional form. So there you go. There's your warm-up.